I got a visit. Our Christina Tatro, though, is live this morning at Tap and Cellar in North Fresno. Christina, it's kind of a hidden gym out there, isn't it? It is, and I love hearing that you guys have all been. We're live here at Tap and Cellar. It's actually just next to River Park behind Lowe's. Come on in, I wanna show you what it looks like. So if you come on in here, they have handcrafted wines and beers, and they've been around since about March of this year. But this entire location is pretty huge, and we're gonna tell you some exciting information that it's actually gonna be having a, an additional add-on pretty soon. So they have about anywhere from 25 to 40 different beers and different wines at all times. Some of them are actually uh, family made as well. And heck, they've got a restaurant in here. So we're gonna kind of show it off to you. I am joined here with owner Mike Savier. I did not say that correctly, did I? You said it okay, Savier. Okay. Savier. I added a you know little extra oomph in there. Okay, so Mike, you guys have had this place since March, and you guys kind of like to say we're a bit hard to find, but for some good reasons. Why kind of be this little hidden gem? Yeah, I mean, we decided to open up in this area um, for a couple different reasons. Um, one, we wanted to be close to River Park, um, but we needed uh, roll-up doors. So what we would, what we are doing, um, we're in the process of actually uh, putting in a brewing system, and so. Our ultimate goal is to actually uh, be brewing our own beer here. Which means soon these three glasses are going to be local and made by Tap and Cellar themselves. Now that's kind of a fun little sneak peek that we have coming up and hopefully you were saying next year? Yeah, well I'm actually it'll be this year but it'll be a couple months away. So. so what we're telling you guys, we're breaking the news, new winery coming here just behind River Park. So uh, let it be known that's coming soon. But you know this space also, v very important, you, uh, you guys have a family owned business as well but tell us the selection of beer and wine is all very unique. Right, so uh, what we wanted to do is bring in wines and beers that uh, typically that you can't find anywhere else. So we found a lot of great stuff around California um, and then with our friends locally here with some great local wines and wines out of the Napa Valley, uh, we've, we've created something pretty special. And of course, what would be any drink without food? Look at this charcuterie board. What do we have going on here? So we have a charcuterie board. We basically have a, a couple different cheeses, uh, a couple different um, aged meats uh, with some crackers, some grapes, and, and some almonds. So we try to resource all this stuff locally. And then what other foods do you guys have here? Well, on occasion we do uh, like Taco Thursdays instead of Taco Tuesdays. Uh, we do uh, grass-fed beef sliders from time to time, and then we're working on a new menu which will be um, basically flatbreads um, all resourced from farm to table here locally. Awesome. Mike, thank you so much. I want everyone to stay with us because we started talking about the beer and the wine, but next up, we're actually going to be pouring a few of these and telling you some of the special beers you can't get anywhere else in the Central Valley. Hmm. All right, Christina. Looks that good. Looks this so is good. actually a lot of fun because I like the different selections I'm, of beer and stuff they have there. And I really like that that cheese board. <laughs> that looked super good. Yeah, it does.